It's Tammy with Colored Valley Cooks. Chris is out fishing, so you have just me today. And we are going to make something really simple and delicious, and that is an eggnog pound cake. We'll be using a cake mix, some vanilla pudding. So today I want to make a really big pound cake because you know that the cake mixes out today have very little batter in them. So I'm going to double this recipe, and I'm going to make a really pretty large pound cake. This pound cake has eggnog in it. It has rum in it. It has, you can use real rum or rum flavoring. Um, it's got cake mix, vanilla pudding, uh, a little bit of nutmeg, and butter with some slivered almonds that you sprinkle around the bottom. Now, because I'm using two cake mixes and I'm making a really big pound cake, and remember, my pound cake that's homemade, both of my pound cakes uh, that are in the cookbooks are large battered pound cakes. So you're going to need a 12 cup bunt pan and not just a standard 10 cup, okay? This is what they call the anniversary edition. It is 12 cups, and there is a big difference. It's a really big cake, and that's how I like to make cakes. I like them to be pretty and make a statement when they're on the table, so that's what we're going to do with this one. Now, I make all kind of homemade cakes with my white lily self-rising flour, but today we're going to use a cake mix, all right? I'm trying to make something easy for you guys. Cake, what I like about pound cakes made with cake mixes is they're moist and delicious just like they are when you get them from the store, pretty much, because that's what they use. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to be using a lot of eggs, and I'm altering this recipe to make it more like what I want it to be. Mm -hmm. We're going to be using a lot of eggs, so I'm going to go ahead while we talk, and I'm going to crack these eggs. Now, um, typically you put three eggs in one cake mix, but today... We're going to put four eggs because it's a pound cake. That means we're going to need eight eggs because I'm doubling. I'm using two cake mixes. So if I'm going to confuse you doubling this recipe, remember my recipes are always posted in the description post. And look, y'all, I need to do a video showing you guys really how to get those recipes. I am updating the website. I do have a few printable recipes on the website. Although you can copy and paste any recipe out of the description post. I'm, I'm actually uh, looking at these today before we add them in, just to be on the safe side. But anyway, what was I saying? I was saying you can print any of my recipes, but uh, I do have some that are in PDF format. I am updating those on the website and bringing in my holiday recipes that are standard ones that everybody's going to be making. So you might want to check that out. But I've only got three sections ready for you. And that is dressing. I got four different dressings. Okay. I have uh, four different holiday cakes updated for you on there on the website. There is the red velvet, the Italian cream, the homemade fresh coconut, and the carrot cake, okay? So they're on there now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more. And um, what else? I've got a lot of update to do, so y'all have to give me a few days before it's ready. I don't have anybody help me with it. I have to do it myself, okay? I personally do just about everything for Colored Valley Cooks except uh, mon I don't always, I don't moderate Facebook and YouTube. Chris and my sister does that. But everything else you see, I personally um, have to do it myself, okay? So it takes me some time sometimes. And remember, the recipes on the post, y'all really don't need to go by my video to write down a recipe because sometimes I make mistakes and then sometimes if it's the first time I make it, I change it. I change recipes all the time to make them better. When I mix up a cake mix, I like to put in my wet ingredients first. That's just what I've always done. So we're going to be using a half stick of butter. Now, let me say this. I got a cake book 
I got a cake recipe book at a thrift store this week. And um, I learned a few things about cakes. And I, I don't know if I should go into that right now when I'm trying to give y'all a recipe. But can I say that it said that butter, a lot of people want to substitute butter for shortening or oil in cakes. And it said that butter hardens at room temperature so it's going to make your cake crumb less moist. And I think most people don't realize that when they use butter. They think it's going to be more moist when in fact it's not. All right, we're going to be using three cups of eggnog. That's a lot, ain't it? One. Two. You know what? I'm using a lot more eggs than they called for. I'm going to go with two cups. See how I alter stuff? This is just how I am. I make sure it's going to work. I'm a pretty good baker, so I don't mind substituting some things. I'm going to go ahead now, and we're going to put in the rum extract and real rum. Now, it calls for two tablespoons, but now I'm doubling this, so i got to put in four tablespoons. So, I don't want that much liquor in my cake. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a ta two tablespoons of extract and two tablespoons of actual rum. And all I'm doing right now is putting in my wet ingredients. Now, I'm not open this rum. I'm going to tell y'all this story so y'all will know. I, I was raised Baptist. We don't drink alcohol. Now, you can drink alcohol all you want to. I don't care if you drink alcohol or not. I'm, I, I personally don't feel con, a, vic, a conviction about it myself, but I just don't like it. I think it tastes bad. Um, this is spiced rum, and I bought it in 2017 when I started my show because somebody wanted me to make a rum cake. And I went to the grocery store to buy rum. And the guy in there laughed at me and he said, why are you in the grocery store trying to buy rum? You must not buy drink alcohol. I said, I don't. I just want to make a cake. He said, you have to go to the liquor store to buy rum. I had no idea. So I went to the liquor store and I asked the guy behind the counter to help me. Okay? And he helped me and he picked out this Captain Morgan Spice Rum. I don't know if it's the good stuff or not. It's in a plastic bottle, but I've had it since 2017 because I have yet to make a rum cake. Today is going to be my first time using real rum in a recipe. Thought I'd give y'all that story. All right, let's keep on going. So we got two tablespoons of extract in here. We're gonna put two tablespoons of the real thing. Yeah, I've never been one that likes the taste of alcohol of any kind, period. Whoops, I got y'all far away. All right, we're going to put two of these in there. So all you rum drinkers and cooks, tell me if this rum is okay to cook with. I hope it is because that's what I'm using. It's spiced rum. It actually smells good. It's kind of got a spice smell to it. All right, so that's our rum. Now we're gonna add our eggs. But let's just go ahead and add about half the eggs. One, two, three, four. Now today I'm doing, doubling this recipe, so I'm gonna be using a yellow cake mix and if I have too much mix, I'll just make some cupcakes or a little pound cake. And I'm going to use a white cake mix. I'm using one white, one yellow. Duncan Hines was buy one, get one free today. And I'm using a vanilla pudding, 3.4 ounce vanilla pudding. It's going to be a lot of batter, ain't it? And we're going to start mixing it together. And then I'm going to put in... All they're calling for is a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, which ain't a lot.
here and I'm going to butter the bottom of this bun pan because uh, that's got to mix a couple of minutes. So we're going to take some butter and I'm going to spray the sides but for the bottom they want you to butter it and put almonds in it. Okay? Don't that sound good? never do when you're baking whether you're baking a cake or a pie you need to make sure it's done before you take it out of oven so you you stick a cake um, I like to use a skewer they're the perfect size to me to test a cake um, but you can get my cake tester if you want to or you can use a case knife that's what I always use when we were growing up as long as your cake's been in there at least 35 minutes we just stick a big old knife in it I'm serious. We really did. All right, so we're going to get y'all down here, and we're going to put the almonds in the bottom of this. Okay. And now we're going to put our batter in. And because this cake is doubled, it's going to have a lot of batter. You want pound cake batter to be thick like this. And it's going to have a lot of batter. So it may take it a good while to cook. And so I'm just going to have to tell y'all. Now, if you just make the, I'm only going to post the single recipe. But now you can double it if you want to, like I did. If you want a really pretty show-off cake, you can't use one cake mix. It's just not enough. And most of my homemade cakes have at least two and a half cups of flour in them and most pound cakes have three or four cups of flour in them now I don't know that I want to fill it any fuller than that so what I'll do you want it about three quarters full so what I'll do is I will um, make a couple of little pound cakes for my neighbors you can also freeze them. But now one cake mix would have never 
made a big showy cake like I wanted. Okay. It's good, y'all. It tastes delicious. I've never had an eggnog pound cake. Now, you may have had one before, but I think it's going to be something I absolutely put in a cookbook. All right, let's slide this in the oven. It's ready. It took it a while to cook, but boy, is it beautiful. It rose up pretty, just like I wanted it to, and came over the top of the flute. And let me show you what I checked it with. I do have a cake tester, so if you've got a cake tester, you can test it with your cake tester. Go down right in the middle. And it's clean, but it I always kind of pat the top and make sure it doesn't jiggle and poise. It's going to be delicious. I cannot wait to cut a piece. So we're going to go ahead and flip it out. Now, I will do a full video for you guys on YouTube. Got almonds on the bottom. All right. Beautiful cake. Beautiful. Just gorgeous. I told y'all I wanted it to be tall, and boy, is it tall. This is the, gotta get through the almond. And there you have it. Boy, it smells good, don't it, Chris? Mm-hmm, it's a pretty piece of cake. Mm-mm-mm, this is a nutmeg not nutmeg. It's got nutmeg in it. It's an eggnog cake. And it has rum in it. Mmm. Boy, this one's going to be hard to stay out of. I can tell you that. Hmm. Y'all have a wonderful day. Or not. And thanks so much for watching Colored Valley Cooks. Where we cook, like Mama did. Bye, y'all. Love ya.